Hey guys, how's it going? It's a height here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called Steam World Build, and it is a colony style game from the Steam World series. And this is the full release of the game. We played the demo previously, but now we can actually hopefully finish up some more of the story. So let's get in here. I guess I probably don't need that capital. Okay, there we go. Tutorial, yes. Story, yes. Random map, yes. And let's get going. You see all those stars up there? That's where we'll live once we escape this world. There's so many. Which one? Whichever one you want, kiddo. How will we get all the way up there, Pa? Mm. By following my plan, little friend. What are you planning? I am here to get you all to safety. It is the sole purpose of my existence. Lucky that Pa found you then. Sure is nice with someone looking out for us. Quite. How will you help us then? Allow me to explain. Long ago, a great horde of ancient technology was buried here. Technology that has the power to do what you need. Buried deep, deep below the earth. But as you see, I quite lack the ability to dig it up. Pa and I are really good at digging up things. Yes, your bots are excellent for manual labor. But do not think it will be an easy journey, my eager friend. We have to go further down than you would ever think possible. And only once we reach the very bottom of the world, we will find your way to the stars. Well, if it won't be easy, then I'll need the best second in command to make sure we get there. Who's that? You, of course. Wow. Does that mean I'm gonna be a hero like you? Heroes give people hope, yeah? You've always given me that, kiddo. Must mean you've always been one. <laughs> Look, Pa, I see it! I see it! The mine shaft! All right, folks. Time to get to work. We'll have to stay focused in order to get to the old tech and escape this rock. You hear that? Something is making a noise. Probably just some old hinges on the mineshaft elevator that are creaking. We'll get working in no time. You better. I'll be ruined if this doesn't work out. Do you hear? Ruined. We'll need to get this city up and running first and foremost, though. Squeeze the area for resources, and the people for all that they're worth. That's mighty harsh, ma'am. Just get it done. So... Oh, yeah. Easy money. Okay, so I don't trust that mayor woman, and I also don't trust that circle robot guy. It sounds like they're both using us, and I don't know. I don't trust them. So, our workers need somewhere to live. Let's build some residentials. And I don't recall the proper way to lay these things out. How many of these do I need? Six? All right. Let's just... Maybe I'll leave a little bit of room for a road. I don't know, guys. There's probably, like, a proper way to do this. But for now, we're just going to make it happen. So let's just get some roads. We can do something like this. Do I? I don't have room in there. All right, we'll do something like that for now. Uh, fulfilling needs increase your population and earn you higher taxes. Currently, your citizens need more uh, need a general store. 
Okay. Dirt Road General Store. Will this fit in here? Hell yeah. All right. Select a worker residential building. A short description of the building. All right. Okay. Click to continue. If any issues arise, you will see them here. N needs not satisfied. Okay. Fulfill citizen needs and you'll advance your city to and earn benefits. At 100%, you can upgrade residential buildings if you've unlocked the next citizen tier. The money and steam bots you'll earn by keeping them happy. Okay. You will need building materials. The forester turns trees into logs, which are needed for construction. All right, so let's get a forester plunked down over here somewhere. 100% 100% is great. Maybe I can stick a couple of these down. Now they're both at 100%. Okay. Warehouses distribute resources throughout the city. If a refinery is not within coverage range of a warehouse, it cannot deliver its resources. Hint. The coverage of a warehouse is shown as blue highlight on your roads when placing. Okay. So, warehouse? Oh, hang on. I think I actually need to build some roads. So let's let's connect. Uh oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. We'll connect this right into there. And then I'll connect this into there. Ah, OK. Is this a warehouse already? Abandoned train station. No, it is not. Okay, so let's put this road here somewhere. I need to connect to both of those like that. So now we can actually collect the wood. And many refineries require resources from other buildings in order to produce. The lumber mill will use logs from the forester to produce boards. Refineries do not need to be within reach of residential buildings to make their goods available to them. Okay, let's try to make one of these guys and i don't know where i want to put this i guess i'll just stick it over here why why take it farther away right we'll just keep it right there not enough workers available as you progress through the milestones new needs will develop for your citizens buildings that can fulfill these needs will unlock at the same time select any residential to see what new needs they have new needs service shop okay we'll put one of these down in here somewhere now all of my robots are getting serviced water is essential for steam bots to be powered cactus water can be extracted from local cacti at the cactus farm hint you can build the cactus farm oh you can't build the cactus farm yet build more residentials and fulfill citizen needs okay so let's get a few more of these things going and this is not exactly what i wanted whatever it's fine um we'll get a few more residentials how many residentials do i need here it's not saying oh right here grow worker population to 200 and each one of these gives me six aye yeah that's a lot isn't it that's a lot we need more boards. Okay, well, we'll have to just wait for some more boards. So I think to make more boards faster, I need to make a second one of these. Because if I look here, this takes 15 seconds. And if I look here, this takes 15 seconds. So I think we're producing two times as many logs as we're able to process. So if I stick another one of those down... Hopefully, we're able to get more wood more faster, which means I should be able to plunk down more settlements. Oh, 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 I want that. Yoink, some free wood. Yeah, these things are great. Free money. Gotta keep our eyes open for those. Those little thistle weeds or whatever they're called, tumbleweeds. Yep, that's it. They're good. Milestone reached. Okay, we've got a whole pile of residentials. What else? Did we just unlock something? 
Workers. Cactus farm. Okay, where do I want to put this? I'm assuming it has to be near cactuses. Squeeze juice from cacti to make cactus water. A rare and valuable resource on this dusty world. There's not a lot of cactuses around. Does it have to be near cactuses or can it just be, you know, wherever? One or more resources have a negative balance. Oopsie daisy. Maybe I'll just, I'll just stick it over here and I'll see. I, I can't tell if it actually has to be near the cactuses. Farms require fields. Oh. Ew. Garden. Foliage? Cactus? That's not what we want. Where do I make fields from? Garden, junk, park, animal. Select the building. Oh, and press the fields button. Place fields. Ah, okay. So I actually didn't have to put this over here. Can I move this then? I would like to move it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go like this. Um, where do I put this? I don't know. Maybe over here. Or maybe like over here somewhere. That's maybe better. We'll put it in here. Get a road. And then fields. One out of three. Okay, there we go. Three out of three. Charcoal kiln is a must for any city. Okay, so that means we're going to actually need more wood, I think. Most likely. And let's see here. Where does the charcoal kiln even come from? If you can't build the charcoal kiln yet, build more residentials and fulfill citizen needs. Okay, so we're going to have to do that. Where does it say all of our stats? Okay, here we go. Administration window. The administration window gives you an overview of your available resources. Good. Keep an eye on the resource balance. A negative number means your demand is higher than what you're producing. You can select a resource from the tier or from the list to see its balance trend over time. Selecting new item. Selecting the item tab will show you any items you have available. Okay. So we need to make more logs and I'm hoping we're able to just stick that in here somewhere. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. It's going to cover up some of the trees, but I think that's okay. Is, is this one still at a hundred percent? Yep. hundred percent. Okay. All of these are at a hundred percent. So that is going to start making us wood. Is that in range of this thing? Perfect. Yep. You'll love to see that. Okay. All right, we're making a few extra logs. Now, I'm going to need more people. Where does it show my population? Oh, right there. 24. I got to get up to... Or is this the population? 234. Income. I don't know what's what here. We can repair this abandoned train station, though. Should I do that? Oh, we don't have enough workers. Okay, we've got 104 workers. Total, 104. Oh, I see. The 24 is what's available to us. Okay, that's what's happening. So we're going to need a whole pile more residentials. We're not making near enough. Let's get this going. What the heck is this thing? They need trains? Oh, they just need access to the trains. Not a problem. New milestone unlocked. What is this? We got rubies. I don't know what that was. New milestone unlocked. What, what's it telling me? Current 136 required 200. All right. We got to just keep pushing. Keep on pushing. What's this? Oh, the charcoal kiln. We've unlocked it. Okay. Maybe I stick this in here somewhere. Um, Like there. And it requires 30 seconds for one. So this will, this thing could actually keep up with two charcoal kilns. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that then. That looks pretty good. And then do I need extra logs? I don't know if I actually need extra logs or not, but maybe we'll just make a little bit more logs because we can. And that guy can't reach. 
So we need a new warehouse. Uh, maybe I just put, you know what? I'll just put this right here for now. That looks good. Okay. We have only one robot left to spare. So we're going to need more residentials. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Okay. Connect all of this together and I may as well connect that together. Perfect. Four out of five needs fulfilled we got charcoal coming in or we should soon train station needs zero oh we got some extra loot here as well can i fix this yet there we go girl up and running again we'll be able to ferry in supplies much easier wait what's that well looky here someone was hiding back there in the shadows oh my no not hiding sleeping the train is running. Hello? It's just an old rusty bot. I can have my enforcer throw him out. Yep. Ma'am, that ain't no way to treat a stranger. We're happy to meet you. I don't want to be a stranger. I am the trader. This is what I do. I think I can conduct all your trade. The train listens to me. That sounds mighty helpful, partner. Welcome aboard. I will join. The rumbling of the ground scares me. Why can't I remember? Okay, we still have to grow our population a little bit more, but we're getting really close. I'm just gonna... Oh! In order to get the mine shaft up and running, we'll need the engineers. But there are still many unknowns to overcome before we can reach the old technology below. You mean there's stuff you don't know? Well, that's a surprise. Charming. It's unlikely that you may have any other questions that I do not possess the answer to. Well, if that's the case, Marty Pants, I've been hearing this weird song since we came here. Almost like a sad song. Do you know what that could be? It confirms my suspicions. You can hear it. So you hear it too? No, I do not hear it. But I can sense it. What is it then? The city that used to exist here was entirely dependent on the technology that powered it. This technology all responded to the same control signal. The old signal. That is what you're hearing. Interesting. Oh, we can make engineer buildings now. Right. Okay, I forgot about this. We don't want to make too many of them. I think we still have to keep some of our the guys. The city is getting cramped. We must expand. Get it done. We'll need more space for factories. And more importantly, homes. There used to be so many homes here. Now, there is just sand. Wonder where it all went. Oh, spare us your incomprehensible blathering rust bucket. Invorsa, round up your deputies and get that rubble cleared. Yep. Okie dokie. New area unlocked. Oh, we have so much more room. Okay, that is cool. So how many of these do we need? Upgrade two out of three workers into engineers. Okay, let's... What the heck is this moonshiner? Let's get a few more of those guys going. And then... Can I just put down, put down some normal, some normal houses? Why are these bigger now? Or are these the, oh, those aren't lined up. Can I move this? There we go. I just want to move this. So that everything is lined up nice and tidy. Okay. Can I delete chunks of road or how does that work if I... Uh, um, how do I delete roads? Move tool? I don't know if we can't. Oh, here we go. Probably this demolishing tool. There we go. Okay. We'll plunk down a few more houses here. I'm assuming I likely don't have enough resources for all this. We are not producing enough moonshine. Okay. So we can start looking at that here shortly. Is that what these guys require? 
Yes, they require moonshine. Okay, so while we're at it, we need cactuses, glass blower, sand sifting factory. Where in the heck is a sand sifting factory? Uh, do we probably don't have that yet? We should repair the mine shaft so we can get into the mine and proceed with our mission. I've marked the broken mine shaft on your map. Can I do this? Repair. We do not have enough engineers. Not a problem. We can fix that. I hope I can fit the saloon up in here. Oh, it's too big. Uh-oh. What if I put it here? Oh, it's not bad. Okay. So all of those guys are able to access it. That means I can upgrade these guys later. Okay. That'll do. We're probably going to need more cactuses. Just because. So let's look here. Cactuses. Plunk that down. And we'll place down a few more fields to get that going. Okay. You love to see it. Let's get this road a little bit longer. And I didn't mean to do that part. Okay. Now, does this have to be connected to a road? And can the road go up? Oh, we have to go there. That's the only spot. Why can't I place this? There we go. I think this thing has to be connected to a road, right? There we go. Okay, so that has fixed the mine shaft. Good job. Now it's time to head down the mine. Press the two. Oh, right. oh yeah. We made it. We ought to set up some quarters for our miners and get started on digging. I feel the place shaking though. Best we dig slowly. Indeed. The planet is becoming more unstable by the moment. Proceed with caution. And when we find this tech we're after, you reckon my daughter will be able to fix it? Control of the old signal was passed on to descendants of those that lived here, and by chance it was to be your daughter that was granted this most crucial gift. Never doubted she was special, that's for sure. We better go get whatever piece of the tech we can then. It'll be out there in the dark somewhere. Let's do it! Entering the caves, you will need gold nuggets to set up our operation. Click the chest by the mine shaft to get started. This thing? Is that gold nuggets? Okay. What is this? High instability will soon cause the collapse of the mine. Um, I've not done anything. The instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there will be collapse in the mine. We can place pillars to stabilize unstable areas. Will be shown in the striped blue squares. Pillars can be placed inside quarters without disrupting their effectiveness. I. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. So now, how do I mine again? I forget. Dig? Oh, I have to get robots down here, don't I? Miners do all the digging. Set up their quarters now. The size of the room determines how many miners are recruited. Miner quarters. Okay, we can't go that far, I guess. We'll do that for now. Okay. We should expand our operation. Mark those tiles with the dig tool. I'm working on it. I wonder if I can expand the quarters. Like, oh, there's like just stuff in the way. Can I get rid of all this? I would like to expand the quarters further. Oh, there's like rocks. How do I get this stuff out of the way? I don't think you can build on this debris, which is kind of annoying. Okay, we got to get to all of the good stuff. Scrap is essential for future construction and production. The growth of the city relies upon unique resources found in the mine. Dig your way towards the highlighted tile to uncover scrap. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, do I need to put a pillar in here somewhere? 
<laughs> Holy cow, okay. Let's grab this stuff. Maybe some of that. Maybe some of that. Interesting. So when you get to these like sand pockets, they just go nuts. They go crazy. Okay, we'll bring all of that. And I guess we'll do what it wants us to that way. Now, am I able to make this bigger? We want more miners. If I can get more miners, I want more miners. Costs a lot of money though. All right. Oh, what's this? Treasure. Three thousand dollar dues. Okay. Perfect. That guy is going to continue down there, and I guess I should probably get someone in here. This is the best. I love this game. I'm so happy that it is out and I'm able to play it again. Okay, we'll mine all of this as well. We want all the good stuff. Bedrock. And what do we have here? A scrap vein. Discovered a scrap vein. We need more moonshine. I forgot about that. We're not actually making moonshine yet. Should I expand this quarters up over this way? Oh, they they delete the dirt when they have nothing else to do. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I actually really like that. Okay. Do I need any more pillars in here? I should get one in there. Okay, that's looking good. Why is this not getting dug? Too few prospectors? Oh, to mine the scrap vein, well, we'll need the help of prospectors. Head back up to the city so we can prepare for their arrival. I have marked several deposits of tools in the mine if you need more. Is that what these are? Let's go get them. I love me some tools. Well, mind that, that should break a whole pile of that stuff out. And let's just go and get all of this stuff. I wonder, do they keep mining while I'm away? I think they probably do, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they keep doing their thing while I'm gone. We need moonshine real bad. To get the help of the prospectors, we need to grow our city. Upgrading more workers into engineers or fulfilling your engineers needs will do the trick. Okay, we want to make moonshine. And this has to be able to access the the brewery, I think. Right? Does it have to? It must have to. This rowdy place provides your engineers with service of being able to kick back and enjoy themselves. So does this actually have to be closer to the city? I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick it here and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's fine. We also need sand sifting factory. Can this just go anywhere? Okay, we're going to be... Oh, wow, there's fertility needs here. It's only 75%. We gotta move this. Um, somewhere? Uh oh. What was that? Did the cave just collapse? What was that noise? Hello? Okay, let's plunk a couple of these down. Why does that say it's unstable? It's not even dug out yet. Okay, we got some treasures. Do we lose anything for just mining out, like, everything? Probably not. I, as long as I keep the pillars in there. I think we'll be fine, right? How much do these things cost? Oh, they're kind of pricey. But we've got a pile of money, so it's not that bad. Okay, let's get these things slapped down. The more room we have for miners, I think the better. 
discovered a watery vein? What the heck is a watery vein? Is that what this is? Dirty water? I wonder if I'm gonna need a bridge or something to get over there. I can't build in there because the stupid debris. Oh, the guys are cleaning it up. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, I love that. That is so good. Okay, that's gonna leave us a pile more room for activities. And I should probably get a column in there. All right. Look at us go. It's kind of pricey. But now if we need to dig, we can just dig. And what is going on here? What's the situation with this guy? Low fertility. What does that mean? Low fertility. Why low fertility? Is it too close to buildings? Okay, maybe it's too close to buildings. Is this one okay? A hundred percent right there. Okay, so now we're making a pile of sand. And what do we need? We need a glass blower. Does this matter where this guy goes? Do I just stick it right here? Oh, it lowers the fertility of that thing. That's not good. What if I stick it... Over here. And then I'll put a road. Not enough engineers. Okay, well we can fix that. Perfect. Oh, we're still at minus 11. Oof. I need houses that are accessed by this thing. So I think... Why can't this one? Upgrade residential. Your residential needs a satisfaction level of 100. Oh, wait a minute. Is it too far away from here? Yes. Okay, so that one has to stay like that. These two could get upgraded. Now we don't have enough normal citizens, but those are easier to deal with. So we can slap down a pile more. Uh-oh. I don't like when in the world vibrates. Okay. Let's plunk these down. What's going on here? Position blocked? What does this mean? Oh, because I don't have any wood right now. Okay. Well, that'll work out here shortly. We've got enough builders, so we don't need to worry about that for now. The train station gives you access to trade and the ability to buy items that boost the efficiency of your city. This is where you can set new trade deals. You also you you can also keep track of any active trades. This is where you buy items and equipment that can boost your city and mine. Items will refresh when the train arrives at the station. Okay, so we can buy 20 times gold nuggets for $8,000. That seems pretty good. What is this? Mechanic equipment steam bot revival bonus? I don't know what that is. Production item. Production bonus chance. 15%. That actually seems pretty good too. And now we're out of money. So there are no ongoing trades. To create a new trade deal, select the resources you want to sell. I don't really want to sell anything right now but i guess just to see what happens we can trade some cactus water then select the resource you want to buy uh um, gold modify the amount you wish to trade for select this button to create the trade deal trades will be completed each time the train arrives at the station and will be reoccurring until you delete it 40,000 or 4,000 money for one gold nugget. No water for a gold nugget. I actually don't want to do any of this right now. I don't, I don't have stuff. So let's just leave it. That's cool though. It's cool that we can do that. So ooh, we have better roads. Roads are used to connect all your buildings to the train station and for delivery bots to travel on paper roads allow faster movement speed for your steam bots and increase the coverage range of your service buildings. Those require tools and we are not 
we don't have a whole lot of tools so i don't think i want to do that right now but it's something we can consider i do think i want to make some more logs because we can and i should probably add like a secondary road in here because we can that looks good is there more trees like there's trees over here am i able to cut those trees down eh, it's not that great 42 percent is not that great i could come up here there's a whole pile of wood over here we can sneak out i feel like getting more wood is just really good let's slap down a couple more wood farms. I don't know. We'll do something like this. I'm going to have to connect these together somehow. And they're going to need access to here. And they're also going to need a distribution thing. Well, let's stuff this. I don't know where to put this. Down over here. I'm going to need to extend a road to it. What's the situation here? Few resources in proximity? What do you mean? It was working just fine a second ago. Is it because this other thing here is taking the resources? What if I move this over? Okay. Okay. I think that fixed it, mostly. And we can put down a, another one of these guys. And maybe even another charcoal kiln. And then if we have extra stuff, we can start to sell it, maybe. But we'll see how that goes. How's our, how's our resources looking? We're making a pile of lumber. We're making a pile of everything. The only thing we're not making right now is the glass. And that was because we didn't have enough engineers. Ooh, I don't have enough regular bots right now. Minus 48. Ay, caramba. Okay, so that should mostly do it. Maybe I can squeeze in a couple more residentials. Where can I put these? Ugh, there's not room. There's not room. Okay, I'll stick these up here. Maybe we can stick a couple of these over here. That's going to be enough. All right. We got enough of those guys. We got enough of those guys. I need to make a prospecting quarters. And I don't know what that looks like. Surveyor office. Engineer residential. Where's the prospecting quarters? Maybe I can't do it yet because I actually haven't made any of the moonshine and we're not able to upgrade any of our bots. So let's make a glass blower. Hopefully that's going to start making us some glass. Yep, it looks like it's going to start making us some glass, which is going to start making us some moonshine, which I think means eventually I should be able to upgrade. Oh, we also need a surveying office. Why are these buildings so big? Okay, we'll put that over here. Everybody's happy. Perfect. Now, am I able to build... Tool maker? Oh, we can make tools. Scrap metal found in the mine. Tool maker. Where can I put this? Do I put it by the mine? I don't know if I actually have to, but we can. There we go the situation here oh that guy doesn't have a warehouse now you do <gasps> can i fit a road through here oh perfect okay we can get some more trees from up here if we want what else can we do i mean and that's pretty good for the most part we got to figure out where the prospector quarters thing is what is this i don't know what this thing does Oh, we can put items in the factories. I think. Let me see. Do I have any items? Ah, production bone. Okay, that's what we bought. So we can stick it into one of the machines. Very interesting. Very interesting. 
We should probably do that with the moonshine, actually. There we go. I don't know if I can take it out after. Yes, we can take it out after. Okay, so that is perfect. That is going to work. We are not producing enough scrap. Which I don't even know if there's a way to actually make scrap. So structures, animals, countryside, engineers, paved road, engineer, residential. Can I just like upgrade this? Is this the prospector? Why can I not? Why can I not unlock this? Do I need more people? What's the situation? I need more engineers. There we go. New milestone unlocked. In the population section above, you can see the citizen balance. Negative number means we don't have enough steam bots in our refineries and they will work slower. Okay, mine is fine. Mine is perfect. Pickaxe maker, sheet metal, spare parts. Where's the prospector guy? What the heck? Spare parts, pickaxes. All right, well. I mean, I guess we're going to have to figure it out here after, but I think we're going to wrap up this episode right there for now. Guys, I hope you liked our first look here at Steam World Build. I am so excited to get back in there to the mine and check out what else we can dig. There's all sorts of stuff. Look at these guys. What are they doing? Oh, they found a treasure. We got the little mining hat. Yoink. Reinforcing bonus. Okay, perfect guys. We're gonna wrap it up right there I hope you're loving it if you are don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video Subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I will see you next time